Good morning and welcome back to the Not Show Stuff Show, where we try to turn trash into cash. I've already seen my garbage guys this morning and uh, they're riding around and so I found out where they had been and where they hadn't been. He's like, what's that phrase again about the early bird gets the worm? And I'm like, why I oughta? <laughs> busting on me. Oh, so they've already run part of this neighborhood, which is okay. This is their job, right? And uh, they've let me know where I can hunt successfully. So we're going to get out there and hopefully we can uh, do like we did yesterday and stay out in front of them. I've gotten one of these guys before. And believe it or not, this has got all kind. This is actually like wire. Come on, where's the end of this wire? There we go. Whoa! A little pool uh, crawler. I'm not sure if this is wood or metal. It's metal. It's metal. It's metal, we'll take it. <clears throat> Get ourselves some early morning metal. Early morning wall, I mean. Oh, I wanted to talk a little bit more. It looks like people are pretty darn excited about that fan contest. I will have details out there. I know a lot of people started guessing yesterday. Those don't count. We'll have the official video out with the rules and the details and all that kind of stuff. Soon, soon, I tell you. Um, but we are gonna do it. Um, so keep your eyes peeled should be fun we just got to work out how we're going to do it a lot of people were asking what fans count what can't fans don't count all of that will be on there that's what i want to make sure everybody knows because i've seen some pretty crazy guesses as far as 15 fans come on that would be totally dismal. But we'll see uh, what the month brings. But uh, hopefully we can find one today. Not much, but we're taking it. I think. Oh, these are the old bracket kind. I'm not gonna fight that. <clears throat> uh, nope, we're not fighting that one. Onward! And a staple here at Nacho Stuff. This one's of the busted variety. Oh. This is gonna be a good hucker. I can, uh, it's just light enough to have some fun with that one. Let's not cover up our walls. There you go. All right. I don't know, it's pretty light out here. There's mattresses and things like that, but find some stuff not 100 percent sure possible picker i had to stop though it looked like uh see if it was a fan box let's see if they look me the wires yeah you got some stuff you're my man no wires but this gentleman might have something for me today. You want me to come back? Ooh. Oh, wow. Hey, I appreciate it. Ooh. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh, got it. You're on the floor, on the floor, What's that? <laughs> That's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. What's you're on YouTube? Yeah. What's your channel? Uh, it's, my, it's my homies. Okay. But uh. Is, uh, you live right here? I do. Uh, I, 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 okay, find it out for me. Yeah, Appreciate it.
<laughs> right. 408 is uh, the main highway here, toll road. He says he does four by fours down four <laughs> on YouTube. I'm gonna have to fight his channel. That's funny. Onward. All right, this didn't look promising from the road, but you gotta look, right? You just never know. Uh, I'm gonna say this is pretty garbage, though. Know? Uh, although I think I see a wire. Uh, no, it's not even a wire. It's a hose. That's a blood pressure cuff. Okay. What is that noise? Oh, he's working on this truck over there. What is that? Oh, it's a wedding cake. A styrofoam wedding cake. <laughs> A tractor, an empty D. Oh, those DVDs yesterday that I dumped, pulled out of the dumpster. Every one of them was empty. <laughs> Police truck missing a veal. Oh, that little plane. I wish the people's worth that. We might save that and donate that. Soldier force. Not three million a year. Uh, We'll take the pole. Ooh, there's a butcher block here. Where are all the knives at? Where are all them knives at? All right. The one guy gave me that air conditioner. That'd be nice. I got one in my backyard. I still gotta break down. Not quite the money of a house unit, but fun nonetheless. Onward. All right, time for some random chair action. And a old school Swiffer. Or building blocks. What kind of pot? Oh, he's broken. He broken. It's no good. No good. We need to get some stuff in here. I keep hearing all kinds of rattling. Hard hats. No, I'm not gonna take those. I'm not taking those. All right. Hopefully we can start finding some goodies, man. Onward. We're across the street. Another slight picker. I just have to look at this. That's kind of fun. Don't want it. Cool Tupperware right there. Is there a lid for this someplace? Hello? Nope. It should be like clear with little dot in the middle, right? Nope. I knew that wasn't it. But I'd really like to look for those. No lid for this. I think I won't take it anyways. People like old Tupperware. It's back when it was made good. Onward. All right. You go definitely take that. Some big old doors with the glass in them. I don't care about the glass, I just care about the doors. It's nice and heavy. <laughs> we should uh, leave the glass behind though if we can, right? Seeing if we've got access to a dumpster. Let's see if I can do that. Let's see if we can whip this up really quick. Because I really don't want glass in my trailer today if I can avoid it. 
See if we can get this done. Get ourselves some extruded. Be a horrible battery here. Let's see. No, no. Oh, why don't you want to go apart? Oh gosh. <clears throat> All right, that ain't working. We're just gonna take it. Take it as is. Let's check the dumpster quick, though. Really good, though. Actually, what I might do is just put them in the dumpster. Do a smash and grab. What do you think, guys? They were already here, anyways, right? Definitely tempered. Semi clean extruded.
two, three, four. See what else we can find. The other ones had a bunch of wood in them. We're gonna check these two though. One's looking pretty empty. This one's got a bunch of uh, dirt in it, carpet. Nothing too yummy. Onward! Dun 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 Can we get a battery? It's like a little t-ball thing. Ready? Crush fingers. Mm -hmm. I want to say negative. The battery should be right there. <laughs> uh, negative. I don't know what that is, but it looks metal. <laughs> This tank. Is this metal? Yes, it is. They took the truck tires off. Is this super heavy or something? Is that why it's sitting here? Mm, it's not very heavy. Oh, it is a gas tank. I can smell it. What's in? All right, I gotta try to get the back back situated, but sure, I'd love some help. Yeah, I was wondering if you run into you, I've seen your channel. Oh, you have? Yeah, but I, I do scrapping like, I get paid to do it. Yeah. They call me out to come and do it. Yeah, I know. I, I've seen your, seen your truck out here. You have nice well, loads. Well, well, my truck, my truck, my truck, my truck, my truck, my truck on the corner, so. Yeah. 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 You go down. You you uh, turn in a trademark. Is that where you turn your stuff in, or? Yeah. Okay. 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 That makes sense. Yeah, I I, I, pre I predominantly go to E and H just because it's yeah, on this side of town. Yeah, it's, it, they, they don't pay as well, but they take just about everything. Well, I mean, TMR would too. I mean, I would recommend if you're going to do this a lot, yeah. give yourself a dump trailer. Yeah, I know. If you're going with a dump trailer, the uh, scrapyard really doesn't give a shit what's in it. Really? Because you're dumping it all at once. Everybody ain't right. watching you throw it. Um, and you're in and out so much. Yeah, I know. Because that, like, that's my scrap trailer. I just right. put scrap metal in that. Uh -huh. and once that fills, once it's filled, just take it up. Take it up and dump it. Yeah. Because I got it. My uh, property. I have two more dumps. Just got a lot in it or now? No, there's nothing in this. That's a gas tank, right? Yeah, diesel tank. Yeah. It came out of. My that diesel, but with diesel prices so high, yeah. I don't need when my employees or my wife filling it all the way up because <laughs> it's a big tank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, gas prices are ridiculous right now. Yeah, because we never like I said, we've seen the seen him in the neighborhood. I run I run through here every week, but I run into the garbage guys a lot in this neighborhood because this is the furthest from from my place. So by the time I get, like I ran into him this morning, he's like, early bird gets the worm. I'm like, yeah, I know you guys are killing me, man. Well, see, that's weird because they used to, when they used to pick up this neighborhood, uh -huh. they would never touch metal, no matter what it was. Really? They would take everything else and leave the metal on the road because they knew right. someone would come by and grab it. Right. He said to me, he's like, I, I gave my number. I said, you let me know if you want to leave it. If you want to find out whether I'm out there, you can leave it. Because they've left stuff for me before if I see them. They'll now, leave I can it. Tell you where a refrigerator was. I know they won't pick that up. Really? And I, but it all depends if someone else has yeah. got it. But you got this, and no one else has came by. So. Yeah, I, I, I run. If it's in this area, I'll probably find it. Um, it's it, actually what's that street right here? Like the other circle When you go on the end, you go into the circle Bloomfield. Bloomfield. If you 
turn on Bluefield, that first right uh -huh. there's a refrigerator, fans, uh, pool pool pumps. I'll swing so, by. Like I said, I was out doing the job. I'm, yeah. If I ain't got a lot to do, I'll stop and grab it. But right. If I'm in a hurry, I'm like, oh, I ain't putting it. Yeah, I know. Right yeah, I know. Especially if I'm driving like that one. Uh huh. No, nope, don't want to do it. <laughs> It's I don't blame like you. Yeah, I know. But yeah, like I said, I was wondering when we were running into you. Yeah, I, her, I was like, yo, how have I have never <laughs> seen him in the neighborhood? But yet, here's a video, and she was like, that ain't our neighborhood. I'm like, yes, that is. <laughs> and you were on the other side, like, yeah. all the way at the end. I was like, yeah. Uh, fr is. Friday is my basically from Rouse to Dean, uh, south of 50. Yeah. It, and that's what I told her. I was like, nah, he said Ferris Friday. That's his house <laughs> in the back of the neighborhood. And it's on a Friday. Yeah. He's, he's in this neighborhood. I know. She's like, no. Nah. <laughs> as soon as I heard something, I was like, I looked, seen the back of the truck. I was like, yep, let me go out there. That's definitely him. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes there's stuff out here sometimes there's not like i said it's really hit and miss this neighborhood my best score in this neighborhood was actually uh, a box of gi joes it wasn't even scrap i picked up a bucket of gi joes um and it was like i don't know probably 20 different planes and tanks I, and I think I, did you have it on youtube i did yeah, yeah it, it was it was my you, first stop of the day back up, here yeah, we'll take it easy. <laughs> I threw it in the truck. I went home and I joined some GI Joe groups and started talking to people. And I could have made a lot of money if I would have sold them one by one. But I just wanted to be. Yeah, I, I got so much. I only yeah, got so we, much we time. Did the same thing, but like I said, we get called for junker groups. Yeah. So technically, they're not calling us for the scrap. But right. That's yeah. It ends up being scrap. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we get calls from like auto mechanic places. You got three hundred bucks. We'll get there and it's a pickup load of just transmissions. Yes. Junk, and I'm like deal <laughs> yeah, sure. so yeah. i mean uh, yeah we, we come across a lot of it yeah i'm sure but yeah i mean definitely keep an eye out here because like i said the days that we're that's packed or something uh -huh. we come across metal i'll just load it up here i've loaded it up from like here and it sat for like three days and really? finally yeah, i see someone i was like it. yeah i was like dude i asked the scrapper i was like hello he goes man you got all these trucks i thought it was yours i was like if it's on the road yeah. it's a free game Right. I was like, I mean, but, but we, we get a lot of that. I'll give you my number if you want to give me a call ever. I'll, let's do that. Be more than happy to do that. All right, we're going to look over here. I don't know if there's a TV here or not, but I know there's a TV behind me, but I want to check this side while I'm here. Uh, we got nothing there. And get a remote. Think I can make it? If I can make it, you guys owe me a dollar. Oh, short. <laughs> okay, I, you don't owe me a dollar. <clears throat> Dang it. Look at that. More wrapping paper, man. I don't understand why people throw wrapping paper away. Anyways, that gentleman, he uh, he's a waste removal guy. So he leaves all kind of scrap out, he said. He's been doing it for forever and a day. So I left him my number. Ooh. I gotta get my clippers. <clears throat> yes, I gotta get my clippers. Oh, they, that's not as much paper as I thought it was gonna be. I won't take that cord though. It's too strong for me. So he leaves a bunch of scrap out and he says the garbage guy's not a huge fan of them, but hey, we all gotta make a living, right? So I left my number and said, give me a holla if you've got stuff you want me to take. I'd be more than happy to get rid of it and help you with your garbage man relations. So we'll see how that uh, works out. Nonetheless, he helped me load of that huge gas tank in the car. So we got something for today. And he told me where two honey holes might be. So we just gotta go take a gander at those before the end of the day. Right, I got a couple of old pruners. Oosh. With the cords. I really would like to build a wall at some point. Gotta find some stuff though. Come on. All right. Can we get some aluminum? Aluminum, aluminum? I think so. Is this top gonna pop off? Probably not. I'm thinking this is kind of steely too. 
Oh, let's go check her out over here. Yeah, she's still. That's okay. We'll take her. Beggars can't be choosers, right? We'll grab myself a couple of chairs and a table. Gotta get it while you can, you know? I'm gonna go try to see if I can find those honey holes he was talking about. Because this neighborhood is run. Let's see if we can find it. I done found it. <laughs> it's a heavy picker, that's for sure. I don't see much metal. I don't see much of a much of much. I'm looking for metal. Metal? Yeah. Wow, help yourself. They tend to just move out. Oh, did they? This is all their, yeah, this is all all their, their leftovers? Yep. They left a lot behind, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Wow. No, that's wood. Man. What's that? Do you want to use appliances? Sure. That's okay. They're inside? Yeah. Okay. I'll come grab them. I'll get my dolly. Okay. Worth it. I'll be back in a minute, guys. Alrighty. We're about mid repack. This was a tenant that trashed this house. This is what's left over. And they're getting rid of everything. So we got a fridge. We got a washer. We got a dryer. We got a stove. Plus what we had before this. And. So the last guy that I talked to was telling me that there's still a potential full-size fridge up the road. So we're finding all the things today. Just got to eat these bad boys up here. Unfortunately, this fridge, I can't tilt on the deli myself. I had to have him help me. He is gone now. So, we're just gonna manhandle it up here. Because, I can't use it out. So, everybody get the big boy pants on. Let's make this happen. All right. We're just gonna do this. Ready? Three, two, one. <sighs> Woo wee! You guys didn't even see me fight to get these outside. And I don't know if I'm gonna have you watch me load all these guys. Cause I know you guys wanna watch me unload them, right? <laughs> all right, can we get this thing vertical again? Probably not. 
think we're just gonna have to squeeze these guys over here. Anywhere to come up in front like this. You come back over here. Everybody over here. Push everybody else over here. Why are you so mad, brah? Why are you so mad? There, another washer and dryer should fit. All right, press to change your figures. I don't know if you guys really want to listen to a fat guy load a trailer. So, I'll be back when I have her loaded up. All right, holy tiredness. We got everybody on here. We couldn't get the refrigerator up right again. It's just too darn heavy. We have already all the appliances in here. We got everybody strapped down. We got our gas tank strapped down and all the earlier stuff. There's not much else in this pile. So thank thankfully the landlords were there and able to take us inside to get all those appliances. Thank you kind sir that I ran into this morning. That stop made the day. And I still haven't been back to that other refrigerator you mentioned. So I'm gonna have to unload because I'm not stacking a refrigerator on top of a refrigerator. I'm just not doing it. And I know you said there's some other stuff there. May or may not be there, so we're going to uh, not make it to the yard before lunch, I don't think, but we're going to try. It all depends on whether washer and dryer guy got back with me or not. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Bumping into this morning was a blessing because now we've got four appliances. So let's continue on and I'll see you when I see you. All righty, we're at the yard. We, uh, Dropped our stuff up to the washer and dryer guy. I did take that second refrigerator. I stopped, they had it. I stacked it on top of this. Like I said, I wasn't going to. And uh, once the washer and dryer guy, I had dropped that off. I dropped it down just to make uh, the ride a little bit uh, safer. <laughs> I know, zero self-control, that's me. Um, the guy said that someone, you can see, they tore the compressor and stuff off this this morning already. So it's just the shell of the refrigerator. But we'll take her, she's still waiting. And she's a double, so. <laughs> Getting this up to the top of the truck was a lot of fun, to say the least. We're not gonna mess with that little piece of brass. We are tired today. We have worked hard. We did get uh, 40 bucks for our washer and dryer. So that's where we set right now. Plus whatever all this ends up being. It's really uh, not that much stuff. It's just big stuff. That stop was uh, pretty nice. We're gonna check these really quick. Sometimes these are. Um, 
aluminum or stainless steel, which they are not. We will not be turning in any non-fairers today. We have not broken down very much this week. Baseball has definitely slowed down our breakdown ability. But it's not going any place. It's still sitting in my house. So don't worry. We're not losing anything. This is kind of a nice bed. Look at that energy, all that energy I still have. Ugh. This refrigerator is so heavy. And trust me, I looked. There's not a dead body inside, so. I was wondering if it might be heavy because of that. I checked. It's just heavy. Whew. Still got wire in it. That we're gonna break down a little further. You can come up here. Oh, I got this pipe, so I ran into. I was trying to save battery for the unload. I ran into this old timer, and he said, "How much is copper?" We had a language barrier and we finally figured I figured I finally figured what he was talking about. It's like I got a copper pipe. So the copper's running like 350-ish a pound. He says come. So we followed him and he shows me this. And I was like that looks pretty steely. I said let me see it. So I looked definitely steel. Brought it back to the car. I showed him that is not copper. <laughs> <laughs> He just kind of smiled. I don't know whether he was trying to pull one over me on it or not, but he said I could keep it. Oh, it got stuck in my pocket. So I did. I kept it. Oh, gosh. Don't fall over. I don't think I got any more wires that I got to clip right this second. Let's get this fridge out of the way. Oh. That is a big gas tank, man. Hear that? That's the racetrack next door. They must be racing tonight. <laughs> Sounds to me like they're warming up. I knew that one would fly good. All right. Ooh. Got all kinds of stuff going on. Now we got airplanes coming over us. Got race cars. Got airplanes. Oh, we're gonna have to cut that, aren't we? Oh, there goes the wire. There goes the wire. Come here, wire. All right. That's extruded. Let's see, let's see this one here. See, it's not a whole bunch of wires. It's actually pretty coated. But they counted as number two. So I'll take it. 
Jordy Lou, look at these wrenches that I found in that house too. He said I could have whatever I found in the backyard. Rawr. Get a big pair of wrenches. All right, keeping that. Let's check these guys. Ugh. Those will be dirty. That's it. Let's uh, get out of Dodge and see what she pays. Alrighty, we are done and I'm exhausted. And on top of that, everybody's been picking on me all day long. I ran into the garbage man this morning and he was uh, seriously joking. Early bird gets the worm. <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. Why well, you gotta do that? And then Jill, we're going out, Matt, you didn't get very much today. I'm like, I got 1,100 pounds. Was really? I remember back in the day when I was happy with 700. And now I'm bringing 1,100. She's like, kind of a slow day. I'm like, really? Why are you going to bust on me like that? <laughs> Anywho, we only turned in uh, 10 today. I, there was a line for the non-Ferris. I wasn't going to wait for it. I was tired. I didn't have that much. I just had the screen and the sculpture was extruded and something else. So I was like, forget about it. So we ended up with uh, 1,120 pounds of tin at seven and a half cents pound, 84 bucks. Plus a washer and a dryer that went to my washer and dryer, 40 bucks. So 124, 125 will round it just for, for easy, nice, pretty numbers. I think it's pretty solid, man. Friday's uh, turning out to be a pretty good day, um, but it really depends on those stops, man. A couple Fridays ago, we had that one house that had all the stuff and the guy with the car doors in the backyard. And then the next week, we had another big stop of some sort. I forget what it was, but Friday's been killing it lately. Friday's and Mondays. Uh, Fridays used to be tough for me, um, but we're finding those couple of spots. And now I got a new connect um, for Friday where maybe he'll have some uh, morsels out for me on a regular basis. He said if he has... Uh, extra pieces. It was a weird day. We met all kind of cool people today. We had we found the guy that gave me the air conditioner that rides uh, four by fours down the major highways. <laughs> we ran into that old guy that tried to sell me uh, steel as copper. We ran into the guy that scraps that always has extra metal. Oh man, it's everybody. It was all kind of crazy. Oh, the and that in the landlord that gave us a trailer full of appliances, basically. So that's, that makes it fun, seeing those people again. The only thing we kind of missed was a, a real picking pile. That one pile was definitely a pile, but it was not really a picking pile. Um, I always like to get at least one of those so we can feel like we find something that we don't know what it is and it might be a value, it might not. I think I said it earlier and if I didn't, those DVDs that are the dumpster, I said, oh, that might be the, the DVDs and the games. That might be the score of the day. Went home, took them all inside. All of them empty. Oh, I'm sorry, there's two DVDs. Two Pilates DVDs at that. Come on now. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't go to the dumpster for Pirates of the Caribbean because they are probably empty too. So everybody have a great weekend. I, I, for I watched the news this morning, it looks like everybody's going to have great weather this weekend. It's supposed to be like 20 plus degrees hotter every place so enjoy your spring for the couple of days you have it because i especially know people up north it's a roller coaster ride this time of the year you guys could have snow in may sometimes it's just like wonky wonky so uh enjoy the warm weather while you have it it's supposed to be i think all the way up to like 60s all the way up into new york um so enjoy it have a great time remember it's nacho stuff but that doesn't mean you can't take someone else's trash and turn it into cash. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already become a member. We'd love to have you in here. We try to have fun every weekday. I'm off till Monday. I'm gonna enjoy my weekend. I got plenty of baseball going on this weekend, as usual this time of the year. So until Monday, be safe, be happy, and I'll catch y'all then.